If you've been watching F1 for four seasons now, in 2015, you may have noticed something different. Cars began to spark again, emulating the cars from the late 80s and early 90s. The reason for this is actually very interesting. Underneath the bodyworks of the car is a long piece of phenolic resin material called permaglass. Although many earlier versions were made out of a wood product called jabrock, this long piece of material is called a skid plank. It was implemented with other regulations after Senna's 1994 crash in hopes to prevent excessively low clearance to the ground. At the beginning of a race, the block will start out at 10 millimeters thick and must be 9 millimeters or more by the completion of the race. If the block is worn out too much, the car is disqualified. So along the plank, teams have strategically added metallic blocks around the measuring areas. The FIA regulates the use of these blocks, and in 2014 they were made out of tungsten. This was changed for the 2015 season to titanium because of its enhanced safety benefits. This also meant the cars would spark like we see today. For the sake of simplicity, I didn't go into the regulations of the skid plank and why titanium is safer than tungsten. So in the description, I've supplied two links, one to the BBC and one to a Formula One insider where you can read and learn more about this topic. I'm glad to hear all the great feedback from my change in videos. Like I said in my last one, these should get better as I begin to get used to this form of content creating. And I also said I wanted to bra branch out into more topics and not just centralize on one. Of course, it'll still be very aviation heavy, but expect many more videos like this one. I also wanted to mention that if, I'm go if I got something wrong through my research, or if you feel I did not go into a certain area enough, just tell me in the comment section down below. Anyway guys, I believe that's it, and thanks for watching.